Good morning, everyone. This is M4J Watt Replays with three more replays again for you here today. And we have another WZ121FT replay from D underscore O. Uh, he just absolutely adores this TD. I have actually told him, uh, since you're getting so many good games in this, you have to uh, do 5,000 damage or I will not uh, post it. So he's going to be getting me 5,000 damage games from now on in this TD before I will post them and not 4,500 damage games. But uh, Chinese Tier 8 Premium Tank Destroyer, which some people know as the Gold Wedge, because this thing is shaped like a wedge, and it is most definitely one of those tanks that is can be called pay to win. Uh, in the right positions, it is pretty much invincible, has very tough frontal hull armor. Uh, the lower plate is weak, but the upper plate is just almost impenetrable to even tier 8s, uh, except those with high pin. Uh, but if you're at a distance, you're, you're just invincible if you've got that lower plate hidden. The reload, 8 seconds, uh, does 400 damage, which isn't too great, uh, but the penetration is absolutely ridiculous. Like 250 millimeters with armor piercing and almost 300 millimeters with the heat round, if not over. Uh, but he's gonna he plays this tank very well. He's gonna come around the corner here. He's gonna be able to take out this lurver. I hope. Yes, he does. There goes the lurver, and it's uh, now he needs to start uh, pushing forward because the enemy team have started to flank around from the other side. So there's three tanks in the middle here. It's a five on four. He gets a nice shot there into that Tiger two. Doesn't even really have to aim. Gets a bounce from him. He's going to come around the corner here. Is he going to go for another shot into that upper hole? No, he's not. He's going to overmatch the side armor. And now he's going to push up and start angling a little. Now, again, this tank, it, its armor isn't really any good unless you've got that lower plate hidden. And at first is an ISU-152. It just doesn't have the armor. He takes a nasty shot there from the ISC-152, and now it's a 3-on-4. He cl he really needs to clear this ISU because he is definitely the biggest threat on the enemy team to him. Uh, he's able to turn fast enough to handle the AMX. The Tiger-1 is going to have issues penetrating him, even though he can, and the Tiger-2 with that stock gun, again, is going to have issues penetrating. But he gets a nice high roll just in time, clears the ISU, and it's now a 3-on-3. Three three. He's going to come around the corner here, uh flumps that shot there, or flubs that shot, whatever, drives over here to this building, and now he's gonna just come up and start face-hugging this Tiger, and he kind of messes up in doing this. Because the Tiger 1 has enough penetration that he's able to overmatch the upper hull armor from this close range. But he's able to take this Tiger out, leaving him now at 15 health. There's only two tanks left on the enemy team, though, uh, just that Tiger 2 and the AMX 1390. Uh, so or 1375 sorry so there goes the uh tiger and he is able to clear that 1375 with a nice shot to the turret so that's the end of that game blocked only 530 damage that round inflicted 5000 uh or sorry 4613 base xp and got four kills as well and next up we are watching so con ku gaming and he is driving the t28 prototype the tier 8 American tank destroyer. Uh, definitely better than the normal T-28, uh, It could just because of that turret. Has a slower rate of fire, worse armor thickness, although you will actually get more bounces in this TD than you will in the normal T-28. Penetration is a lovely uh, 248 millimeters penetration, and its rate of fire is around, uh, it is 7 point, or 9.7 seconds on uh, Sogonku Gaming's T28 prototype. Uh, but he's able to put a couple rounds into that Tiger 2. I would probably load up the HE for the AMX, but he goes for an armor-piercing round to that engine, and now he's going to start pushing on this Tiger 2 Savage. And he's going to get quite a lot of blocked damage this game. Uh, I never bounce this much damage in the T28 prototype. I really hardly bounce anything at all. Uh, but he's going to reload. He's going to shut down this Tiger 2. And now he's going to start pushing on this AMX M445. Is he going to load up the HE? Yes, he is. And is he going to be able to pull off a shot into the sides or rear of this AMX? Uh, looks like he will. And he comes around the corner. 498 leaves him at 7 health. And it looks like the T49 is probably going to be taking him out. 
Uh, is he though? Yes, he is. There goes the AMX M445, and now he's going to start pushing forwards on the rest of the enemy team. Uh, so there's the T54 lightweight. The other, the IS5 and E25 are in the middle there. T49 kind of gets in his way, but he's going to keep trundling forward and just push on this T54 uh, lightweight. So he's going to go for a shot there. Can't quite get the track. It just goes, his shell goes wide up there. Takes a shot from the T54 lightweight by exposing his sides too much. T54 pokes back out again, gets another shot into his front, and he does get a bounce from him. Uh, the VK100P, I believe, is going to be able to take him out. They're going to start kind of pushing from a pincer maneuver. The VK100 is taking shots from the enemy team. There goes the Type 50, or T54 lightweight. Goes for a shot there on the IS-5, doesn't quite, isn't quite able to connect it. He's going to finish reloading, poke back out, and maybe he can get around on this Type 59 ding. Again, not quite. And this is where I'd probably start pushing forward. And that is exactly what he's going to do. So his KV-3 is sitting in the base, capturing it, and the rest of his team is sitting behind him. So he needs to push forward and support his KV-3, or they're just going to absolutely tear him apart. There is the KV-5 and the ISU-152. Definitely need to take out the ISU. He's able to put a round to his front, and the T-49 is a one-shot. Is he going to be taken out? Don't quite know yet. He's going to go for this E-25 number one. Uh, one of the more dangerous targets on the enemy team takes him out and now he is going to start pushing up he does need to clear the isu because the isu can one shot him with an he round to the side or and he can penetrate him like butter he gets a nice heat bounce from the is5 puts a round into his front and now he's up to 4300 damage inflicted uh, so he's going to pu start pushing up here he's going to ignore the is going for the isu gets a bad bounce there gets a very fortunate uh the isu bounces off of his front and he does take a heat round from the is but is5 but he's able to shut down the isu 152 and now he's going to start pushing on this is5 and hopefully he can get one more round into his front is he going to be able to do that yes he is 466 and now he's just going to keep pushing and trundling along and the is5 does get taken out by the kv3 but a very nice game there in the T28 prototype from Sokonku Gaming. Uh, managed to pull off 5,072 damage and block 1,200 damage as well with a well-deserved ace. And next up, we are watching my P43-06 Anniversario. Now, this medium tank, it's one of my favorites. I absolutely adore this tank. And we are platooning the German tank AS1 driving the Eraser BP44. For this tank, it's pretty much just a normal P43 with slightly better armor and a slightly better engine. Other than that, it's almost identical, except for obvious camo difference. Uh, but so I was going to push up here, uh, spot that AMX 12T, and I decide it's not safe to come over here, especially when our entire team is going to the left of the map. So I'm going to turn around and relocate to this middle bush here. Maybe I can spot some of these heavies, but they're already spotted. So I'm just going to drive up here and see if I can get any side shots and start developing a crossfire. Unfortunately, none of these heavies are actually going to poke out. And it doesn't take me long to realize that. I just sit here, aim for a little bit, hopefully getting some shots off the spot that I noticed the enemy tank destroyers are all over. Well, all the enemy team is spotted. Three heavies over here. And the rest of the four team is over on the other side. And I noticed that we have five tanks over there with heavy tank. And only one over here with these four tanks. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go back with the team. Our medium tank, there's no hope for him. Four type 58. I feel bad for you, but there's nothing that I can do to help you. So I'm going to turn around and I'm come over here and assist my team to take out these heavy tanks. Uh, and that was definitely a game changing decision. If I had not uh, come over here, uh, but our platoon mate there in the eraser is able to put around to that Tiger 131. Not quite able to get that shot off the field, so I'm just going to come over here and go all the way to this corner and go for that flank. So I see this KV-2, I'm going to go for a shot while we're moving. Not quite able to happen. The Thunder can take some nasty shot from our platoon mate. We're going to push up. Uh, he gets another shot and we are able to take him for a very short first shot of the game. So we see this KV-2, we're going to start pushing on him. Uh, these are the last tanks on the side of the map. 
our, ST, our Black Prince gets taken out by the enemy STRV and things are not looking good. It's a 3 on 5. This KV-2 is a one-shot ring. Wait, finish him off! As well, although our natural enemy is fairly healthy. We spot the AMX-12T over there. Uh, we, we haven't really done much on our team yet, but this is only the beginning. Get it, we're Enemy is hit. And we can't quite get our gun down. Uh, the Nash one's able to take him out though. So I'm just gonna push out here and see if I can't get some shots on the Yak Panther. But there's the STRV 74. We take a shot on the the AT-15A. And we're able to put one into the STRV 74. So I don't want to poke out too far because I know the AT-16. Put another round into the STRV. And now this Yak Panther is most likely gonna start pushing. Can't quite get a shot there. We didn't penetrate their armor! Panther takes out our national enemy down to a 2 on 3 with our platoon mate at a one shot and we and I myself are still pretty much full health. So this Yak Panther's pushing up, I'm calling to my platoon mate, please get some shots on him. He does have a little bit around to his lower plate. He still needs to get him. He's tunneling, not paying attention to the one shot. I'm gonna load up the APCR and put him to the side. Enemy vehicle knocked out! The one shot STRB on the enemy team. Uh, um, I put two minutes of one shot, and the, and actually, well, our platoon gets taken out now by the STRB 74. So I've got the APCR loaded. I don't want to bounce the shot. I can't miss the shot. If I do, it will be a very bad thing because the STRB 74 is taken out. So we're able to take him out, and now that just leaves AT 15A, who is at Help. I need to be really careful. Uh, this was before the damage buff, so he only does 160 damage, but his reload, it's still very, very quick. He can just take off my track, and I will be perma tracked unless I can zoom in. So still for a shot there on the side, we do take a shot from it, and now we're going to use the mobility of the P43 to try and circle up. Try to go for a track shot there, but it doesn't quite happen but we are able to get around to his rear before he's able to turn all the way in and out. This just makes me feel absolutely dirty. I feel so bad for this 1850A. I mean, at the time, I was so, so happy that I was able to get this full health 1850A all to myself in my P43. But I just, Enemy so armor bad. is damaged! He just... Stuck. I mean, I don't think he was the greatest player either. Well, regardless of whether or not he was, he probably would not have been able to get rid of me. And we're able to see right on his backside, and we are going to be able to easily take him out. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And I've managed to pull out five kills. 2,760 damage, and an ace tanker badge as well. But that is all for today, folks. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you check out a few other of the videos that I have as well. This is M4J Watt Replays, over and out.